Okay, I'm going to try the little mini spot welder on brass to brass and nickel plated steel to brass so we can find out if, if that's a possibility, if it would work. I figured I'd use the one handed one, maybe I'd have better luck. Trying to view the camera. Got it on. Let's take it up to at least a level four. And let's make a connection, hopefully, with the brass to brass. Okay, that didn't do anything. Let's try the um, nickel plated steel to brass. Well, that worked. I'm going to purposely try and bridge one of them on the bottom piece and one of them on the top and see if that uh, has any better effect on the brass to brass. No. Just to make sure, let's go ahead and kick this puppy up to level five. All right. No. So you're not going to be uh, spot welding with this device anyway, uh, brass to brass, but we are able to, and we may check the, the level to see if this pulls off. No. No, that's, that's on there. That's on there pretty good. Let's uh, get some pliers involved here. Nope. I can't pull that off, so... Just to answer some questions on different materials that it would work on. It isn't working brass to brass, but it is working the nickel plated steel to brass. And you can see there, there's the divots and the nickel. It didn't really seem to leave any marks, any like burn marks. Let's try the highest power one on that one. Let's see if we can get it to leave some marks. I am on the high power, right? Yeah, I'm on five now, so. And that edge apparently wasn't being pushed down. Let's try that bridge trick I was talking about a second ago. I'll try to get one of the probes on the brass and one of the probes on the nickel. Well, oh, that left some marks through. That joined it really well. That was the highest setting. Some of the smoke, I think, was the burning shit off the bottom of here when it when the heat came through so yeah as long as you keep using the nickel strips you can join it to uh, to brass doesn't have to be just a tin toy